tried to stay cool in front of Rin, but I really need to get my act together. Ah. Anyway, I can't turn back now. I can't let her find out. Ah. I know this is sudden, but here is some trivia for you, as you seem to have finished the glass. Have you ever heard of hot buttered rum? It's a cocktail that combines rum with hot water, sugar, and butter. I know what you're thinking, rum and butter? But the two actually pair quite well. The drink's sweet scent is perfect on a cold day. That was the cocktail trivia for tonight. Empty already? Yo, Erica, I got an order. All right, you know what you want? I'll have some wine. Okay, I'll be right back. There you go. It's pretty rare for you to be here by yourself. Maybe I'll have a drink with you. Hey, don't you work here? Do your job. Ugh, with the boss like that? I thought an old guy like him would be cool, but boy, was I wrong. You sure know how to choose a place to work. Pregnant. She's pregnant, and here I am cheating for a third time. What am I doing? <sighs> Why do I keep cheating? Why can't I just tell her I have a girlfriend? Oof. I know this is sudden, but here is some trivia about wine, now that you've emptied your glass. Do you know the difference between a dry white wine and a sweet white wine? A dry wine is made when the fermentation process converts most of the grape sugar into alcohol. On the other hand, sweet wine is made when more of that sugar is retained. It is a rare man who can enjoy both the sweet and bitter tastes of life. And that was the trivia for tonight. Empty already? You still want a drink? No, I'm cool. to Lindsay? Would you like to speak to Martha? I received a text from Lindsay. I received a text from Martha. Do you believe the rumor about the text that grants wishes? This one? Mr. Todd would say that too. I hear Mr. Todd's body is heavily scarred. I hear Mr. Todd was hit by an axe. He doesn't want to show those scars to his wife. I hear Mr. Archie has many new rooms. He gets new ones every time he sleeps with a woman. I don't think he can forgive himself. <sighs> it's four days until the time of freedom. What are you talking about? You got a mail. Hmm?
Morgan is dreamy today. Mr. Morgan looks the same as he did 20 years ago. A woman Mr. Morgan loved was killed. Mr. Morgan didn't follow her into death. I wonder if he will kill the murderer. Are you drinking? It's you. All I hear are rumors these days, even when I drink. I think these rumors gave me a terrible nightmare last night. These rumors are about cheating men, right? Gotta say, I, I'm a little scared. You have a reason to be scared then? I'm a piece of trash. If they're cursing cheaters to death, I'd be the first to go. Trash? I killed my wife. What? That's the other case I told you I'm investigating from six years ago. You killed your wife and you're still researching the case. I'm trash. Huh. Oh, it's Catherine. Hello? Hey, what's up? Well, um... Oh, yeah. Have you eaten the cake I brought you? Oh, sorry. Not yet. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Catherine? Vincent, have you been busy recently, or do you have something bothering you? Why do you ask? I mean, you seem to have been thinking about something for the past few days. Well, I can tell. Oh, well... I'm sorry. I'll call you later. Bye. Sorry, I don't have any information about that incident. I'll be on the job today, though, so hopefully I'll have something for you. You got a mail. go on a honeymoon in space. They lowered the application fee. It's cheaper now. Yeah, it's cheaper. It's only $50,000 instead of $80,000. What a steal. Besides, that's just the application fee. <laughs> Who knows how much more the triple cost. And what's this about marriage? You're joking, right? Uh, hmm. Trip into space, huh? Sure, I'd love to go to space one day. Who wouldn't? But let's be real here. If I had that kind of dough, I'd buy a house. Or pay off my car and have primo steaks for a month. Well, what a dreamer. Johnny? I started to think about our high school days after what happened to Paul. Oh boy, Paul loved the girls back then too. You and Orlando were always doing stupid things. Didn't you guys once eat Catherine's lunch and get chewed out for it? Did we? I know she was mad, but she started bringing you snacks once in a while. You remember? I thought she just wasn't hungry. Eh, dumbass. There was so much going on back then. We were all busy with our own problems. It wasn't all fun, but I felt more alive. More than I do now. What's with you all of a sudden? Is something bothering you? No. <sighs> Hey, really, what's, what's going on? I'm just reminiscing. I'm gonna have another drink. If you're going home, be careful. Sure. I've got a confession to make. I'm really only an ex-journalist. Oh, so you quit? I still do research. I've stopped the whole writing part. Okay, but why? Long ago, I covered a story on a young girl, a ballerina, very talented. Lots of people were sure she'd make it big. 
I wrote an article about her because her story touched me. She was poor and had to take several part-time jobs while studying ballet. The article was a hit, and her popularity soared. It's the truth. Wow, it's really something. But at the same time, she suddenly had a lot of enemies. They must have been rivals, jealous of her newfound fame. After all the harassment, her family... What? I'm sorry. I'll tell the rest some other time. I don't think I've had enough to drink today. Go easy on the booze, okay? You got a mail. Get drunk. Oh. oh shit. It's from her. Oh, oh sorry. sorry. But, well, whatever. whatever. Hey, thanks for helping Rin earlier. That guy's just having trouble with his wife. Oh, so that's what's going on. He's not a bad person, really. If he acts up again, I'll take care of it. I've been getting the feeling like people keep staring at me. Maybe I'm showing a little too much cleavage. It's just you. Hey, don't shoot me down just like that with three words. Come on, I know you sneak a peek at me every so often. No, I don't. Three words again? A lot of customers have been asking about Rin lately. Really? Why now? I guess those rumors about a mysterious piano player are getting around. Rin's pretty cute and definitely getting better at piano. Who knows? Maybe it's the start of something big. Then I could quit working here and become Rin's manager. <laughs> In your dreams. A lot of really. I get Rin's pretty cute and definitely getting better at piano. Who knows? Maybe it's the start of something big. Then I could quit working here and become Rin's manager. <laughs> Vincent, that woman you were with this morning, was she your girlfriend? Sorry, that must have been a shock, but yeah. Her name's Catherine, almost like yours. <laughs> really? What a coincidence. Yeah, you're telling me. I only saw her for a second, but she looked beautiful. Erica was just telling me that couples in a relationship hold their significant others dear to them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they definitely should, shouldn't they? Mm. So what's up? Something on your mind? It's about my piano playing. There's... there's something missing. Really? I think you're doing pretty good. I think I'm close. If I can find out what I'm missing, then maybe... Damn it. Is something the matter? I'm not wrong. Are you alone today? Hey, uh, do I look like a good person? Yeah? You're not a good judge of character, are you? I'm one of the worst people ever. Huh? I sleep with lots of women, take their money, and run. Lather, rinse, repeat. Why? I don't like women. They disgust me. <sighs> what about you? Are you usually loyal to them? Well, I, I guess. I mean, I've been dating my girlfriend for a while now. So you mean you'd pull back even if the woman of your dreams hit on you? I don't know. 
women don't stay true either. A happy family is just an illusion. Mothers and sons are just women and men when it comes down to it. Huh? Uh, just kidding. I'm going now. I only came to have one drink. Is that Rapunzel game any good? I tried it because Todd, my boss, was into it. It's a lot of pushing and pulling, just like relationships with women. Nothing but trouble. My secret glasses have gone. I can sense that someone's wearing them, but... Sir, I noticed you make strange faces sometimes. Would you happen to know the whereabouts of my glasses? The news. It's all about the recent chain of deaths. Just between you and me, it seems an acquaintance of one of our customers has passed away. It's just a coincidence. Well, I don't believe in curses either. But to incur the grudge of a female is a horrifying thing. You see, my wife left me. When she was away on vacation, I brought a young lady home and was just having a little fun. And then she comes home all of a sudden. After that, she's swinging all kinds of improvised weaponry at me. Phew, what a night. Uh, sorry to hear that. Yeah, but still, I love my wife even now. She's a classy lady. Hmm. Then maybe there's no reason for you to worry about the curse. I mean, if cheating is the cause of the curse, everything's already been taken care of, right? I see. You're right. Maybe that's why I don't have strange nightmares? Besides, it's just a rumor anyway. It's stupid. <laughs> These will just move on once they figure out what's causing this. You got a mail. Perhaps the nightmares are being caused by a lack of sleep. But even so, how could so many people be experiencing the same thing? In times like this, having a little chat with Rin may help you to de-stress. Although, I must say there's something about the way she plays that I just can't get used to. Uh, well, well, shucks. It's late. I'm tired today. I should go home and get some rest. hand again tonight. Did I, did I just hear something? I'm kind of tired. I haven't been able to sleep lately. I tried staying in my girlfriend's place, but that makes me even more tired. Your girlfriend, huh? What's she like? <laughs> what? You, you want to know? You never talk about her. Toby was wondering too. There's nothing to talk about. Maybe later. Hmm? Thank <laughs> you. 
seriously?
think I'm stuck. continues, maybe? <laughs> 